Good morning. I'm so ready to do my biochemistry exam today. After all, I studied so much last night. I just finished the exam. I hope I did very well because I tried so hard. Let's see what I get. Have you ever had that experience where you just so study so much for a test? You thought, okay, I remember everything now, but after the exam, you get a bad mark? In this video, I will be sharing with you how to study for specifically biochemistry. But these techniques can be applied to a whole multitude of other subjects. So if you would like to learn, keep watching. So the first tip is go to every class. I... Before I really don't like to go to class, I... I feel like it's a waste of time, but it's actually a good time to consolidate the information you've learned and engage with the material, connect with the prof, and make some friends. I don't go to school to learn. I kind of learn the material by myself, but I find that going to class is very helpful. It's not useless, but don't expect the prof to teach you everything. You have to learn everything by yourself. The second tip is read the textbook before going to lecture. Actually, don't just read, like try to remember everything in the textbook and try to understand everything in the textbook before going to lecture. Because lectures are just a time where you're able to connect all the informations together actually learning you have to learn before class and just be super prepared understand everything before class before going to class that would be really helpful if you can do that number three do all your homework <laughs> obviously do all your homework do all the prep work do everything you can, put in the work, put in the effort. You don't have to be a genius to work hard. And if you're willing to do anything, you're willing to do what it takes, I really believe that you can succeed. Four, ask questions. Ask the professor questions that you may have. I honestly, in my first few years of universities, I was very afraid to talk to the professor i just i was very shy i am very shy now but sometimes building a rapport with the professor and you know people may surprise you that they're more friendly than they look or they sound so maybe you should take some risks and Let's do it. <laughs> Number five. Okay, this is what most students neglect. And it, it's not necessarily that they are bad students. It's just they might not have the time to do it or they don't find the importance in doing it. And that is doing practice exams very, very early. Like maybe the first week of school, you just do the practice final. And I know that it might be hard because you haven't learned all the information, you haven't acquired the skills that are required to do the practice exam. But actually looking at the exam and trying to do it gets your mind in the direction that, okay, this is what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do it now so I feel at least somewhat comfortable and I know roughly what the exam will be like. Number six, this is the last one and this is not necessarily just for studying. It could be for work, for everything in your life, I feel like, but that is to persevere. Things get hard before they get easy. It's 
it's only when you know you find it, like the hardest the most tiring moments that that is when you start to understand and things will get better from there on so you know mm, bad things happen things get hard but it's not the hard things that last it's the tough people that last okay friends that is my video for today i hope you at least try some of these tips and please let me know how it goes like and subscribe this video if you want and i'll see you tomorrow